video will show the procedure for connecting all load cell bases to the COMBIX series of indicators. First, we'll locate the cable gland through which the load cell cable or home run cable will be inserted as seen in the photo. If we have a Minibia load cell base or home run cable, the cable itself will have a shield grounding mechanism that when pushed through the cable gland will automatically ground the base. On non aminibia bases, it may be necessary to connect a separate ground connection. In the upper left hand corner, you see the actual input terminal. That input terminal is the same regardless of the type of convex indicator, but may be located in a different position. The convex one, which has only one analog input possibility, is integrated into the main board. In the center photo, you see a convex two, the board is separate. In the photo to the right, you see a convex two or three, which would include two analog inputs. The connection for a six wire load cell, which would be the standard uh, Minibia base, will be from left to right, black, gray, red, white, green, and blue, and always use this color code. For four wire connection, which be primarily competitive bases and higher capacity Minibia cells, it will be necessary to jumper excitation and sense lines on pins one and two and five and six. It may also carry a separate ground wire, which would be connected to the hex head screw you see in the upper right hand corner of the photo. There are some wiring exceptions. The IFS4 low profile scale uses a six wire home run cable, but you will need to consult the owner's manual for the exact color code as the color code varies with the capacity of the load cell and configuration of the scale. The Midrix 4x4 floor scale uses a four wire connection from the J box, but a different color code from left to right, red, green, white, and black. And as with the previous four wire connection, it will be necessary to jumper the excitation and sense lines. This concludes this instruction for convex wiring.